Hello my beautiful glam fam and welcome to today's video. We're testing out the brand new Makeup by Mario Master Mads Neutral Palette. I cannot wait to dive into this palette. This color story is giving me everything, you guys. It is so beautiful. I've been playing with it for the last week and I'm obsessed with it. So let's have some fun. If you're new here, I'm Christy. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get glowing. beautiful gun fam let's jump right into it so again this is the new mario master mats neutral palette this color story surprised me you guys when i saw it in store i was like okay i'm going to buy this i wasn't quite sure because you guys know i'm obsessed with my Vizzy art neutrals palette and i was like nothing is going to come close to that and if this is kind of a copycat of it i know the formula is not going to be as good because it's 50 dollars relative to an 80 dollars price point that Vizzy art charges because they're all hand pressed and incredible formulas. I'll pay it if it's good formula. I wasn't quite sure with this one. And when I saw a $50 price point, I thought, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be worth it to me. But when I saw it and played with it and swatched it in store, I was like, okay, I want this. Every single shade in this palette is a shade I will use. And I loved that. And I loved that like bluish gray shade. That's why I have a purple top on today because we're gonna try to utilize most of these shades in here today. I have already, played with this palette and I really love it. So I'll show you a couple looks I've already done with it. I did more of a neutral brown look, which was absolutely stunning. And then I also did a blue look because I wanted to see if I can use some of these colors. I love blue eyeshadow. So I wanted to see if I can incorporate some of these colors in a blue eyeshadow look and it was stunning. So we're just gonna have fun with this. Again, this retails for 50 US dollars and you get 12 beautiful creamy matte shades. So each pan is 0.04 ounces and 1.3 grams of product. So you're getting quite a bit of product in that pan, which I enjoy. That first row is just labeled by numbers and he just does M1, M2, M3, M4. But that first row, you're really getting those beautiful, just light shades that you can kind of intermix uh, depending on your skin tone. Like that first shade is gonna be a nice, beautiful highlight shade for my skin tone. But for fair skin tone, you can use that all over. The second shade for fair skin tones, you can use that as a transition shade. For my skin tone, that would be like an all over shade. So you have that really nice universal first row. And then the second row is really beautiful with those browns. And then you have that like light pinky mauve color. It's not pink so don't get scared of that it's more of a mauve tone really beautiful i love the second uh, row second shade i think that's m uh, six and that is such a beautiful almost leaning warm tone shade in there which is nice because you can really travel with this palette if you want to do a warm look you really could get away with it this palette and then also that last shade in the second row is really beautiful m8 oh that's such a pretty shade and then M5 is really pretty because it is that beautiful taupe, that really cool tone taupe, which is gorgeous. And then you look at the last row and you have those gorgeous dark browns. Those are like my perfect chocolate dark brown undertones. I really, really love that. And then you, of course, that pop of like grayish blue. Oh, it's so pretty. I've already played with all of the shades and each one of them performed so beautifully. And then you have your standard black in there, which I absolutely love. All right, you guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I had to scratch the first look because I realized that this for some reason does not go well with my Gerard Cosmetics base. This is the second time I've tried it with this and I've had the same issues. So we're going to use my Rare Beauty one instead today because I noticed that when I really loved this look, I used this one. So I put that base on already and I'm not going to set it down. I find with these particular powders, this, this formula, it just doesn't do as well when I set down first. So it's slightly set down on the lids just because it's really important that the lid space stays nice and soft. But that's where I find that this palette just gave me a little bit more problems than like my Viseart neutral palette. So that's the Viseart neutral palette. So I, I just don't use that red one, so that's why I find these are just a little bit warmer shades where I like the subtle 
uh, tones of this one better. So anyway, let's try this look again. So we're gonna use this Sephora uh, 19 brush that I used when I, I scratched out that portion of this video. But anyway, I had to start my makeup all over again because I had fallout everywhere. Okay, and it wasn't coming out. So this I think will give me more gripping power. Yeah, a little bit more gripping power. So I like that. Okay, you might wanna set that down a little bit. Okay, that wasn't good. Oops, so we're just, we're having an off day today, but you know what, you guys, this is realistic. This is what happens, right? We're not always gonna have perfect eyeshadow days. I'm just having kind of one of those. E61 Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm just gonna set down that crease area slightly. And this type of powder is so thin that you're barely gonna notice, but it will just give me some type of uh, just smoothness so this transition shade can go on nice. So that's what we're gonna do. I was gonna do an all matte look, but I think I'm gonna add in some purple to this look, so. You can stop where I, before I start, if you want an all matte look, you can just stop where I, uh, you know what I mean. Before I put the metallic on, I can't think because I messed up and I'm, I'm irritated with myself because I just wasted a whole hour <laughs> that I could have been editing. All right, anyway, that's where we're at today. Let's go in with a little bit smaller brush uh, than I used the first time and I'm going to take this, I'm going to take these two shades right there and I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. And I'm going to pop that in right there. Yeah, I like this better than the brush I used the first time which was the Nikki LaRose BK Beauty brush. It was just too dense and I don't like that brow bone area to be too, too dense. This. Wayne Goss one gives me a much softer. I'm just taking the lightest shade M1. I'm just going over that now. Just right there. Make sure not to take that color too far in because it can um, make it look a little harsh and you don't want that area to be too harsh. I'm gonna take my E40 from Sigma and just blend that out, blend those two together. I went up way too high. I got a little out of control with that shade earlier. Okay, now I find with this shade, as much as I love this gray shade, I love it so much, it doesn't grip that good. So that's the only thing. It's almost reminding me of that Ethereal Eye formula where I feel like the other shades were better, at just gripping. So I'm gonna go in with the darker shade of this wipe off this brush because we have the gray on there. I'm gonna pop this one right here on the crease. Such a pretty shade. I love this color. This is the one I played with a lot. So I'm trying to think, what did I do differently when those other looks when I didn't have as, I didn't have those issues? And I used the Merit Cream Base, I remember that. So that probably helped out a lot on the gripping. I'm gonna do a slight, slight amount of the gray because I find if I do too much of that is where I started to have problems. I'm gonna bring that over right there. Just right there. See how that one is falling out again. So if I don't swipe that out right away, it's stained right there. So even though I had powder there, it did that. So that's the only thing about this gray one. So make sure you dust off that excess and do more pressing motions with that color. See, now that's pretty. We'll leave it there. I think that's what I did the other day and it was fine. So I, did, I got a little crazy earlier. So I'm going with that uh, Sephora brush, and uh, that's the again the number 19 crease brush. Going back to M10, and we're gonna go over the gray, just to blend that out. I find that you can't go too crazy with these shades. Like the Viseart one, I can go nutso with it and never has any issues. But it's $80 versus 50, so where we are. 
Uh, okay, that looks much better. Uh, let's see, that was just more simple. More simple, Christy, more simple. Let's do a little bit of the black, just a teensy bit. We're gonna pop that like just right there. Don't have any issues with the black, and that's good. But just to be precautious because I don't wanna have to do my makeup again. Uh, we're gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna take that off and do a little bit of the gray again and just press again. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. Okay, that looks good. And then E40, and we're just going to just kind of start to blend all that together. Okay, I'm gonna go back to a softer brush. I'm gonna go in with this Units 307, and I'm gonna go in with that first transition shade M5. We're gonna go back over, just like that. Really like that shade, it's so pretty. Going back over. And then into the nose contour. Gonna take that shade M4 and M5, mix those together. I'm gonna bring that into the nose. Then everything blends in like that. So pretty. Oh my God, that's so pretty. So what you could do is just take like these two shades, the two lightest shades, press that into the lid like that. And you can do an all matte look just using that. See, that's really pretty. That is such, that looks beautiful. It's a good pigment on that because it's covering up my, my flaws there. And then I'm gonna take that brush we were using, the Sonia G, just kind of make sure we blend that out. Going in with this BKB 211. I'm gonna take these two browns, 10 and 11, and I'm just gonna take that right there. 10 and 11 again on the other side. There we go. That is much better. Much, 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 much better. <laughs> All right, and now I'm going to, you know what, let's do no eyeliner and see how we like that. And this time, I'm gonna take the darkest brown onto this rougher number 23, and I'm gonna use this as like an eyeliner on the bottom lashes. I just wanna see what kind of pigment we can get without using a liner, just out of curiosity. For some reason, this brush is wet. I think it was touching my makeup wipes, so it's kind of helping out with that. Actually, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of liner. I'm gonna take my gray one from Sephora. This is the to-go liners that are not, I don't think they're around anymore. This was the dark gray. Any kind of gray liner would be pretty with this look. I love this eyeliner so much. I'm so sad that I don't see them available on Sephora anymore. Okay, and I'm now gonna go in with a little bit of the gray on this rougher number three brush and hope to goodness we don't get too much fallout. I am going to tap that off like that. And then I'm gonna go around here. Okay, so you can pop on some mascara and be done with this right here, or you can, I, I'm gonna take one more shade, I'm gonna go back to that M5 on the Sigma E36, and I'm just gonna go underneath there just to make sure we don't have any demarcations. So you can pop on some mascara and leave it as an all matte look like that, and you are done. So that's easy to do. But I want a little purple action, and I used this Danessa Myricks one, but I think I'm gonna try to just use this purple instead. This is the ABH Norvina. Uh, purple palette and I love this shade right here. I think it's called C1 This one right here. We're gonna use that shade right there because it matches my Todd lilac I just want to see if that will. Oh, no, I need the purple lilac. Okay. It looked better with it underneath 
So we're gonna go in with this Danessa Myricks Color Fix. I'm gonna take that on the back of my hand first, just to give myself a little wiggle room to distribute it on the brush all the way. I'm wearing purple and I'm feeling purpley and springy and Eastery. Easter is this weekend as I'm filming, so I'm like, you know what? Let's add a little color. Let's add in a little spicy, spicy, dicey. I don't even know what that is. Don't ask. I have this new thing now where I get so frustrated with myself when I don't, when I have to wash all of my brushes at one time because I'm too lazy to wash them after every application. But because I film and I do so many different looks, I'm like, I've got to just wash them as soon as I'm done filming the ones I use. So then I don't feel like I have a million brushes I'm washing when I need to wash them. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Probably not even making any sense right now. I started filming early this morning because I filmed another video before this and I didn't have my coffee and I think that's affecting me. I really do. Oh, it's so pretty. How was I not going to use this? I was like going to just try to go the easy route and just use the ABH color. This is just way too pretty. This is Color Fix Lilac Flame, and this is one of the foils. Oh my god. Just get it off your hand though, because it will be on there all day. This palette is so pretty, but I don't use every shade in here. I wish I can, I wish I was good at like depotting. That's why I like when they pop out. Oh my gosh, can we talk about how pretty that is over this Lilac Flame? So now I've done a blue look, a brown look, and a purple look with this palette. Kind of fun, right? Rougher number 21, same purple color. I'm just gonna pop that and press that in to the center lid. Going back into the gray shade on a Hakuhodo brush. Go over that. Yeah, the gray is gripping much better with this Rare Beauty one for some reason. Okay, I didn't like the Gerard one as much. And I'm gonna go back in with the E40, but I'm gonna take a little bit of this first shade. And we're gonna go over that, just smooth out edges. So in the G brush, make sure we have no demarcation lines where I did the metallics. And that is it, you guys. All right, I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I will be right back. All right, Glam Fam, so I popped on my Amy June Eve 3D Silk Lashes. You can always use my code Christy15 and take 15% off of all Amy June lashes. It really pulled this look together. It is such a beautiful look with the purples. Oh my gosh, so I've done purple, blue, and brown now. So I really love how universal this palette can really just take the looks in different directions. So if I wanted to travel with this palette, it makes a really good palette to just use that as my mattes only. Now, is it better? than my Viseart neutral palette. I know I'm gonna get asked that question. No, I don't think the formula is as good, but I loved the color story more with the Mario one. So I wish this would be this, I like, I wish it was this, this formula with this color story because this color story is everything I could personally possibly want in one palette, you guys. It is so beautiful. So let's go over my final rate card. As far as application goes, for the most part, 11 out of 12 shades, I would say perform beautifully. Again, not as good as Viseart, but really good. Now, do I think that that gray shadow, I, do I wish that performed better? Absolutely, because I find that it was a little finicky at times. Like some days it was fine, some days, and today I had a hard time with it. Now it depended on my eyeshadow base too, whereas this one I never have to worry. I can use any base I want. So that's the only uh, downfall to that. So I'm gonna give application a four out of five because for the most part, it really did perform well. As far as the finish and wear goes, I do think 
uh, all the shades performed and really worn nicely throughout the day. The gray one, I don't know how that's gonna perform today. I haven't used that one on its own like I did today. I've combined it with blacks and blues and stuff like that, but I haven't used it like how I used it earlier today when it really messed up. So that one just scares me a little, so I'm gonna give Finish and Wear a four out of five. As far as the color story, oh my gosh, you guys. this The shades, the way they swatched, not that it really matters how they swatch, I care more how they perform because Viseart doesn't always swatch that great, but it performs amazing. So I can't really like, I hate to really judge that, but these did swatch beautifully and they are so creamy to touch each one of the shades. So I really do appreciate that. So I'm gonna give Color Story a five out of five. As far as the packaging goes on this, you guys, it really is such a beautiful aesthetic for makeup by Mario. I think it fits him perfect. He's very good looking, he's very handsome and clean cut. And I think it just kind of matches his whole aesthetic. And I really like how he did that with his packaging and I love everything white so I personally love it but it does get dirty so just keep that in mind I don't care I'll wipe it off I like how small and compact it is it's easy to travel with which makes it nice it's thin it closes nicely it has a really nice mirror a very high quality mirror so I'm gonna give packaging a solid five out of five as far as repurchasing this is definitely a palette that if I hit pan I would probably repurchase this because I really love the color story you guys and I do for the most part think it performed really really well so I'm gonna give that a five out of five. So we're looking at a total glam score of 23 out of 25. I highly recommend this palette. If this was something that you really wanted and this was a color story that you really wanted to get your hands on. Now, if you like more warmer neutral shades, then I highly recommend the Vizzy Art one because you do have warmer shades in here. This is definitely more of a soft, neutral, almost leaning cool tone palette. So I do really like that. But that's my thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you picked this up, probably by the time I release this, the sale would have already started. So let me know if this was on your wish list or if you've already picked it up and what you guys think of the look. And let me know what you guys think of this look versus the other two looks. Again, I'll remind you right there. What was your favorite out of this palette? I like that this can also be a very natural palette, just run out the door type shade. So I love, love, love that. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here before you go, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the post notification bell. Join our beautiful glam fam. We're here every Sunday and we just love for you to become part of our family. And if you do like videos like this, please give it a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and comment below. As always, it really does help push my videos up through the algorithm and it really is helpful to me. So I greatly appreciate that. And also I do upload shorts every Monday through Wednesday pretty consistently and then sometimes on Thursdays and Fridays. That's kind of where I'm at right now without having to stay up all night trying to get Sunday's video because I edit all of my own videos. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed those. Let me know your thoughts on those. And I do have an Instagram page and a TikTok page. So make sure to follow me on all of my socials. Check out my website, christyallure.com. Be sure to check out that video next and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Bye. I'm holding on if almost gone. Someday I know I finally make it. I'm Sometimes I'm like a whisperer